Hi folks, and welcome back to my shop and another segment of terminating low voltage cables. I'm Ron, and uh, you know, the other day I had a guy tell me that my 10 minute video on uh, how to put a modular plug on the end of a Category 5E cable at 10 minutes was just way too long. And you know, I, I thought about that for a minute and I understand what he's saying, but you know, I told him, you know, there's a lot of great information in this video. I talk a lot about, you know, the twisting and the cabling itself. I talk about all the different parts and pieces of the actual modular plug and a few tips to, to think about when you're buying these things. Um, and uh, so I cover a lot of information in that, in that time frame. And, you know, um, putting these on is not all that hard. It just t takes a little practice is all it is to it. And, you know, I've put these things on for years now. And by the way, your data guy, if he cannot put a plug on the end of your Cat5 cable, you might find yourself a different data guy. But anyway, so I tell everybody, go home with a box of connectors and uh, put one on, cut it off. Put it on, another one on, and cut it off. And you go through that process of 20 to 30, 50 later, you'll get to a point where you can put these on in a fairly short period of time. And I know it, you know, that uh, 10 minutes, that video is pretty long, but if you want to be able to put that monitor plug on the end of that Category 5 cable in a fairly reasonable period of time and it work right, I'd ask you to watch the video. So, hey, I'm uh, Ron with Ideal, and uh, we'll see you next time.